guys, I hope you've all had a lovely week. Now this week's recipe is something very easy, it's good for you, it's one of my favourite dips. I'm going to be making guacamole. Holy guacamole. For that I have two um, large ripe Hass avocados. They have to be ripe, okay, so yeah, when you fill them they have to feel nice and soft on the outside and if they're kind of um, more browny colour then that's fine. So I've got those, I've peeled and de-stoned those. A few other ingredients I have chopped up tomatoes, I've got some finely chopped onion, I'm using red onion, you can use white if you want, um, some coriander or cilantro, about a tablespoon's worth, and I've got some jalapeno and some garlic, and an all important lime, which again is nice and ripe, squeeze that. To start I'm just going to cut the avocados into chunks, because we're going to mash this all up actually anyway, in a minute. So just cut them into chunks and we're going to put these all into a big bowl. I'm going to squeeze in now half a lime juice, a nice big juicy one. I'm going to use one lime in total. Give these all a basically a big stir around, making sure that the avocado is covered completely in the lime. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt, maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon is probably enough. And I was also like to put in um, just a teeny bit of cayenne pepper. Okay, it's just a little bit. There we go. Cayenne pepper. And I'll put some normal pepper in. There we go. Now I'm just going to mash these all together with a fork. Or if you have a potato peeler, that would also be cool. Okay. So much nicer to make your own fresh guacamole. Tastes like, I don't know, a ton better. And it's really easy. So you want to mash it down till it's kind of like a smoothish pulp. And then we're going to add some other ingredients. We're going to add the rest of the other ingredients. So I have some chopped red onion, coriander, chopped tomatoes, chopped, I use cherry tomatoes, I like the sweeter ones, minced garlic, and of course, whoa, not a whole jalapeno. We want some jalapeno. Just fold these all in. squeeze of lime at the end and the lime actually also helps the avocado to, to not discolour. Oh, just got it in my eye, that's great. Uh, basically otherwise the, the avocado will start to go brown, a bit like a banana. So just pop last bit of um, lime juice and I'm just going to leave this now out to kind of rest for about maybe I don't know, half an hour or so. Make sure it's all room temperature and that is it. Now you can spoon this up, serve it in a nice big bowl with of course some nice tortilla chips or you can have pizza bread or crudités, whatever you fancy and uh, this will go perfectly for any kind of, I don't know, if you're having your friends over, movie nights, Super Bowl, you're watching the game, make yourself some fresh guacamole and ooh, I don't mind if I do. Let's have a taste. Mm. Oh gosh, it's a nice big bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. That's a mean guacamole. So I hope you will really enjoy this. Excuse my mouthful. Leave me a comment. Love hearing from you. And um, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. I do new recipes every single week. And um, yay! Have a lovely week. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs>